Hey, what's happening fellow YouTubers? Back again in the kitchen. Super Milwaukee Boy here with another product review. And as promised, I came to the conclusion because from my uh, last video I had an idea of doing either another food product or I believe it was the eggnog alcohol beverage. And I chose, because I love it, the Evan Williams eggnog alcoholic beverage. Now I was meaning to get this video out uh, before Christmas and the New Year's and all the, the holiday stuff rolled through, at least before the New Year's. And I failed on that guys. I, I saw this uh, video is long overdue. I apologize. But uh, it's better now than ever. So I got this on sale at the Pick and Save grocery store and got a good deal on it actually I thought it would be a little more money seven bucks exactly uh, and I believe this is a twelve dollar bottle of alcoholic eggnog and it is the Evan Williams original southern eggnog made with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey blended whiskey rum and brandy so there's at least two three different types of whiskey and I love whiskey I love rum even more so this is going to be interesting and brandy is one of my favorites as well and uh, it says rich and smooth and as you can tell I had a little bit of it I had a little bit of it so I tried it ahead of time but it's also good for me to give my honest opinion and review on camera here for you guys so uh, let me read some of this stuff here it says Evan Williams set up his distillery in 1783 Damn. Ever since these early colonial times, Southerns have made eggnog blended with bourbon a part of their seasonal celebrations. The original Southern style eggnog blends tradition and heritage in a special treat for the holidays. Just chill and enjoy. So by chill, I'm also going to try this with some ice too and treat it kind of like the uh, International Delight Ice Coffee reviews that I did. It says, prepared and bottled by Old Evan Williams Distillery in Bardstown, uh, Kentucky. All right, straight from Kentucky, Evan Williams Eggnog. And uh, that's true that back in the old southern days, back when riding horses, <laughs> and that time they did drink a lot of whiskey, a lot of brandy, a lot of the wrong good stuff to get them by and uh, I love that time I mean well I would have loved that time I loved all the scenery just imagine the horses I'm a big fan of horses and uh, it says shake well refrigerate after opening which I have it's pretty cold contains milk and egg artificial colors and FD and C yellow number five which is a coloring as I presume and uh, that's pretty much it let me just read you the because uh, there is no nutrition facts on this bottle so if you do want to get the Evan Williams eggnog nutrition facts you would have to find them online I suppose but there is the alcohol level on this and the alcohol level on this is uh, 15 percent and by volume it's 30 proof so that is a good dose of alcohol to get anyone who's a non-drinker a little bit tipsy and buzzed and you know if you go through the whole bottle even drunk <laughs> and um, I'd say between for me alcohol level anything past 10.5 is a good buzz for me into getting me a little bit tipsy myself I just want to show that bottle off pretty unique little bottle as you can see got the chestnuts and the cup of eggnog alcoholic eggnog sitting on there neat bottle I uh, can't wait to try this out guys got my little winner's penguin cup for the winter time and here we go pour myself a good glass here all right I got a good little little bit in there good little taste test there as you can see here we go guys for better or for worse I'm gonna try it without the ice first 
and then we're going to add the ice and see if it's better. Here we go, guys. Wow. That is really good. Now let me go get some ice. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I am back. We got our ice cubes. I put three ice cubes in there, if you can see that. Only three, because you don't want to overdo it with the ice cubes. You don't want to add any more than like two or three because of the alcohol. You're going to drown it out with the watery taste, and you don't want any of that. And what you want to do is pour enough to cover those three ice cubes. So let's cover them a little bit. There we go. I poured a little more this time just to cover the ice cubes up. Just The ice cubes just are supposed to chill the drink even more and make it cooler. And maybe in some people's opinion who likes really cold drinks, a little bit more tastier. And I prefer a little bit of ice in my drinks once in a while. Not so much alcohol like this. And not so much alcohol uh, alcoholic drinks. <laughs> but um, in just you know some of those coffee drinks sugary drinks for a few ice cubes so here we go guys with the ice cubes I let it sit a little bit now we're gonna give it the try man wow the ice cubes kinda added a little more of a good touch to the um Evan Williams eggnog I noticed when I put the ice cubes in and mixed it around like that, it made the eggnog a little thicker, which is good. That's how eggnog is and should be. And with this, you can't go wrong. Because you do get a strong taste of that wintry, Christmassy eggnog along with that heavy dose of alcohol. So you're getting hit with an even amount of both. And that's how exactly this should be. So on my rating scale, Evan Williams Original Southern Eggnog gets a 5 for fantastic. Good job, Evan Williams. You proved your point here. Made a great alcoholic eggnog and one that I am enjoying to the fullest. Which is why I had to get this review out there before I drank it all. <laughs> and guys, that's that. Go and check it out. This is a go out and get it now if you're an alcoholic kind of drinker and if you like certain things, you know, interesting things like this, like the uh, eggnog. I recommend it for sure. Try it out, guys. You won't be disappointed. Guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me in another one in the kitchen. I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. I got mad love for you. Take it easy, guys.